and are being joined now by Alessandro Salaco. Alessandro, another 3 nothing victory for this team. I just spoke with Chris Antonino, his fourth consecutive shutout. As a captain, you must be pleased. Oh, very pleased. I'm, uh, I can't, can't stress it enough how pleased the coaches are as well as every player on this team. We're very happy with the work, right? We all, we all know that there's a lot of uh, things we need to work on. Uh, it's going to be a long week of practice. Next game against Manhattan, too. we got to fix a couple things. Next up after that is conference, and there's no turning back after that. The first four games of the season, obviously, were tournament games. The defense was the key. Now the offense is the key. Do you think it just took the offense a little bit more time just maybe to get the conditioning under them, and now everything's kicking into high gear? Well, yeah, just like every team, uh, every part of the team takes a while to settle in, and we're getting there. I'm not going to say we're 100% there yet, but we're getting there. Talk to us about some of your other players, especially some of the freshmen that are really starting to pick up for you guys. Obviously, Pontus Werner is one of those guys, and even in today's game, uh, Jordan stepped in for a couple minutes, as well as Nick Antonino. Yeah, I mean, uh, the freshmen, they're a big help. They know their duty. They know coming off the bench, they got to show the coaches they're ready. They can't hesitate. They can't be scared. Uh, I think Jordan played excellent today. Pontus did his job. Nick Antonino did well, too. Uh, I'm just happy. I want every freshman to know that they got a shot on this team. Talk to us about this Bryan club, because no one's ever seen them before, and they're going to be a conference member within the next couple seasons. Were you guys impressed with them becoming, becoming like a Division II team now to becoming a Division I team? Yeah, you could see the ambition those kids got. They, they didn't give up the whole game, and with a little bit of work themselves, they could, they could make a mark next year as well. All right, like you said, your next game is against Manhattan and then conference start. What mentality are you guys going to have to keep this week? Have to win. Go through every practice this week, thinking about this game, thinking about conference, just getting ourselves ready in every possible way. And uh, like I said, winning that game and going into conference with the mentality that we're taking it this year. All right, that's Alessandro Salaco. I'm Nick Rowe for the Terrier Sports Network.